Hello, hello, hello. Oh, my scissors. All right. I don't know what's going on with my camera or YouTube, but I couldn't get on. So we're trying StreamYard. I think my phone's upstairs, so I'm hoping I'm live. Because I'm live. Okay. Hopefully you can hear, hear me. Huh. Hopefully you can hear me. Hello, hello? Okay. That's good. So... I received an awesome, awesome, awesome swap from Sabrina through Beemoth's Crafty Corner. And I thought I'd come on and do the pages. So I'll show you what I got. So that's so cool. Lots and lots of goodies. This is all from the envelope because I started and then all of a sudden the live just went boom. So, but this is from the pocket. I got some ephemera pieces. So, it's a vendor theme. And then this is the note on the back. Look at this. So cool. I am creating the life. I am creating the life of my dreams. I am capable of. Oops. And then I love these stickers. Look how nice they are. And yes. And these. And then all this goodness. And these. Art. So what I'm going to do is I want this, this. I did this one already and then the camera I wasn't finished so we're going to finish it Well, because I slept most of the day and I got this cool swap in from Sabrina, so I thought I'd just go on live. I've been trying for an hour to go live, and for some reason, it won't let me go live through YouTube. I know, aren't they cute? I don't know where she got them. They're so cute. I just by my sweatshirt. I'm cold. I'll be right back.
sorry about that. I had to go get my sweater. I tell you, it's raining and it's damp here. Okay, you try I tried to go earlier today to go live on YouTube and it would not let me. Did not have any problem with streaming. Yeah, that's what I decided to try a stream yard. I thought it was my camera. I sat here for a, a half an hour trying to go live and then I go you go use my camera. All I did is get a black screen on YouTube. Hi Sabrina. So here I am through StreamYard because I ain't paying for it. I've only got so many hours for free yet. So I got this swap in from Sabrina today. Whoa. Blue's going fine. And This is from a trade, whoops, um, from BMO's Crafty Corner. We're supposed to do like a friendship mail thing, and Sabrina got my name. I got somebody else's, and that never contacted me. I got it sitting here. We're ready to mail out, but I don't have the address to mail it out, so they're lost. This was on the back of her envelope. This was her inside her envelope that I already cut up because I already started so I'm going to do some friendship pages. Look at I don't know, can you guys see the little dots? I would like to know what ink they used to do this. Look at I can't get it off there. Look at I got marks going across there. That's where the incision mark will be. And then possibly here. And well, this is the decision mark, but this will all be affected. And then down here. Oh, uh, yeah. I will. Um, I have to go look. It's been a while. And you're talking, what, a month, Serena? It's been a while. So I like this. I was going to color this. But then I'm... Got Sabrina's message. I think that's cute. Sending you happy mail. Little hearts. It's so cute. So, where to begin? She sent me a lot of goodness here. Uh, yeah. Index card. So I don't like, you know, when I like you sign up for swaps, I like to fulfill them. But if you don't have an address, you don't have an address. Serena knows my address. So Scott mailed out your guys' ATCs today. At least I hope he did because the envelopes aren't there. So I'll have to ask him tomorrow because he went to bed already. And his boss says to him, he says to his boss, I need the fourth off. Total of total day. Don't count on me for anything. <clears throat> and then goes away. And Tina has to have her, her hands taken care of, finally. And he says, and then again on the 16th. He says to Scott, I can't keep having you take off these days. Scott goes, well, you know what? For 50 oh, well, he says, my wife's going to come first. Because Scott says, I need the fourth off and then the fifth off, possibly. He goes, what do you mean? I can leave Tina for a few hours, but I can't be gone all day on the fifth. He goes, that's the first day after her surgery. Because the last time I had surgery, um, I ended up back in the emergency room the next day. I had... From the yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, that's all it is. I tell you, these people don't follow through, they sign up, but they don't follow. Maybe you're two decided to swap with each other, yeah, no doubt. Eh, hmm. it's a two sider. Uh, what is this? Like, no doubt. They're lost. Our actually, it's our loss. Well, it's, 
Not my loss because Sabrina went through with it. I told her she didn't have to, but she don't listen. But uh, the person I had, it's their loss. But then it's Sabrina's loss. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna send mine to Sabrina. It's basically gonna get the same stuff. <laughs> person that hosts personally that hosted this swap sometimes should make sure they have the address of the people just in case Yeah, I thought it was too. Oh. That's cool. Okay. So. So April's pretty much shot a whole month away because I know it gave it, they said a club cast. I don't know what a club cast is. After I have my procedure, that's what I'll have on my hand. I said to Scott, what the hell's a club cast? Scott goes, I have no idea. All I know is that. It'll be like half here, I we think. Cover that part. And then I have that on for two weeks. And then I have this procedure. And I hope by the time I go to have the second procedure, this is healed. So we'll see. But I tell you, April's going to be a shot in the dirt. Not that much to do. I'm like, what? I don't sit still. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Can't go swimming on Riley's birthday party. So Dem says, Well, you know what, Mom? Bring a book. And just like Dem said, you can't go under. We'll just play. She's gonna hit. <laughs> she says, Oh, <laughs> she goes, We'll get you a big condom and put it over your hand so you can at least sit in the water. I'm like, Yeah, I can probably just sit in the water. I just can't get my hand wet. Because Riley would be so mad if you don't go. I said, I'll still go to the birthday party. I just Because Riley's birthday party is a swim party. I said, I just won't go swimming. I'll just kind of maybe lounge. But I wanted it done. They, I could have had it done Thursday. <laughs> Carpal tunnel surgery. I could have had it done on Thursday. Because they had opening. And I'm like, oh, I said, I, I, said, I can't. And then I contacted Diamond. And I was like, Mom, I have nobody else to watch the kids. Leah's not home. I'm like, okay. Plus, it was Riley's birthday the day after Scott's birthday, so I didn't want to. Plus, Easter. So, I the following Thursday. I didn't think it'd be this fast. I was real surprised. It took me a month to get this appointment and then less than a week to get the surgery. Oh. Yeah, 
up. Hello. Yeah, I know. You seen all me trying to go live? Yeah. Something's up with YouTube. Kathy said she was having trouble too. Probably changing her damn format again. Yep, Miss America's in the house. Woo, woo. I'll tell you one thing. They, you know, when they took this, like, it's, I don't know. It's not a, like so much of a needle. Well, I guess you would call it a needle. And they kind of just went in and poked today. I tell you, it made my hand do this a couple times. That's the marks. That's what they're testing nerves, I guess. Which I've had done before. And I'm like, I had this done. And they, the, 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 and then there's the, my doctor, my surgeon's this assistant says, yeah, we know, but he likes to be really sure himself. So I'm like, okay. And boom, damn. It wasn't pleasant. And then they numbed it after the fact. I didn't understand that one. But. Next Thursday, the 4th, and then I'll uh, have the one two weeks later. So they're doing this hand first because this is my dominant hand. This is the worst hand of them all. And then two weeks later, I'll be scheduled to have this one. And this should be, this one should be healed by the time I do this one. I told Scott, I get out of dishes. He's, he's like, I guess I'm going to the store. I said, for what? He goes, plastic forks, spoons, and knives, and paper plates. <laughs> so we're going to go grocery shopping. Cause, and I told Scott, what buy uh, some of those meals that you can just... What is Friendship Across the Wax Off, Wax On? Yeah. It's just my book. It's all the stuff I've received from people. It's what I called my book. So, like, this is the very first one from Sabrina with an ATC trade. And then Sabrina. And then we have Deidre, January. And then Donna, Dreams times three. And then we have Susan. And then we have, should be Miss Cat. Yep, Miss Cat. And then Shelly and Kelsey. And then Helen. Just things we receive. I just called it Friends Across the World. Sabrina. February. Like a glue book. And then Lori. And then Miss Cat. I like hers because I did it with this. And then I was going to try to get these glued but this waxy stuff doesn't like to take glue so I stuck them in the pocket and then we got Rose and then we got Susan Crafty Dietra and then we have Rose again and then we have Helen And Helen's again. And then this is Sabrina. March. And I, I left a little note. She gave me this stamp. This is cool stamp. She, she sent me this image. Right here. Is that a cool image? And I loved it. 
And I'm like, where'd you get it? And she told me. I couldn't find it. Then she gifted it to me. Cause she said I'd use it more. I used that purse not long ago. Wet glue? Okay. I did not even realize that. Because the glue stick didn't hold it. That's why I ended up... That's why that page turned into this. Because I used the glue stick and it all came up. So, I... Just washi taped it in there and used it as a, made a page. Cool, I'll know that because I would like to put them back up uh, in there. And then and that's the uh, next side. And then we go to Ferrodonna, three times three. Miss Cat. Oopsie. And then Miss Cat again. And see, I wet glue. I hope that's see. That's the wet glue that then. And then it's a card for Miss Cat. And it's Sabrina. And then it's Crafty Vitra. And it's her card. Oop. And then this is Charlene. Which I wanted to do something and I can't remember. Oh, they're right here. I got these stickers from her, so I wanted to put a couple of these stickers of hers on here. There we go. And it's a card because I want one of her giveaways, and I won what I want. Won what I, I put in what I want. Jesus, talk, you know. And then this is roses. And then this is from Sabrina. And then this will be from Sabrina with all the goodies. <sighs> and it's just what I titled the book Friendship Across the World. Across the world. See, I'll show you this one, Don. This is this. So, I used to do the Smash books, but they're too damn expensive to buy these days. So, this is what I went with for this year's. It's getting pretty thick already. But it starts out, of course, with the grandkids at New Year's Eve. And then things that occur the big snowstorm we got 12 inches, my backyard, my. Squirrels, Xavier's puppies, and then Diamond and I's daughter, daughter day, daughter, mom, mama, daughter day, and then my fish, Xavier, he's a school bus driver in the mornings, so he brought his bus home one day, and I shot across, and I took pictures of him, <laughs> and then Xavier's dogs in his backyard, Coda brought me a feather in, Riley, she's always making me pictures. I just keep, when she makes me another one, I kind of just add them. And then Riley, and then this is the kids when we painted her ox for dad. And then Unity sent me, me and Scott a card on the year anniversary. So this is the kids painting the rocks. And then we brought them, oops. And then we brought them, and I just love Allie's rock of dad. Just blows me away. How she could do that so good. And there's the one she made for us. She's going to do Scott's dad this week. Or Scott's mom for me this week. And then this is we moved the, fla the flower garden. And then this is Allie's new little look she's got going on. Yeah. <laughs> Fortune cookies. And then birthday. I got all my birthday cards in here. All the little birthday cards from everybody. And stuff in there. And then the things I got for my birthday. And then happy birthday from Miss America. And then, then pictures of it. I laughed so hard I was going around the kitchen. Yeah, I did. Um, going around the kitchen with this call. This call is so cool. And I'm like, oh, I think it looks good here. And Diamond goes, Mom, you do realize how that call goes on the wall, do you? 
I'm like, well, yeah, anywhere. She goes, no. So she sticks it up in this spot. She goes, it's supposed to look like it's going around a corner and sticking its tongue, and tongue out at you. And I'm like, oh, my God. So Sky didn't want to go through the woodwork that's on the other side. And it slipped right into the woodwork on the other side. Oh, that's in, that's like in my living room, peeking on the other side into my kitchen. So that's where we put it. And then this is from Diamond Salmon Kids. And that's it. I still I have to do... Um, what did we do this weekend? Oh, the, the pictures from this weekend from the birthday party. And then this is my Jane Davenport. I'm so stoked about this. I got to get a frame and I was at the Dollar Tree and I forgot. Because this is the coolest thing. And uh, I'm going to frame it. I'm going to frame this like this. And then I'm going to scan autograph and put it alongside of it. Thank you for that idea. And then, of course, when things happen, like Toby Keith passing away, I put that out. I have to print off about uh, Princess Kate coming out with cancer. I'll put that in. I didn't or something. You know, I usually do something big. To me, that's okay. It's not too big, but I like Toby Keith, so I put it in out there. <sighs> So. We're still working on the books. There's times I just don't want to do it. Like, I don't know where I put my Oh, my, there's my phone. I was like, where's my phone? Here's my phone. I thought I lost my phone. I usually call it like this weekend. So let's see. Um, this is Riley getting her book from Papa and I. Taylor Swift is big Swifty now. And then Xavier was able to go with us this time. Of course, never fails. My son's eyes are always closed in every picture. I swear to God, he does it on purpose. Of course, I don't notice till after. <laughs> and me and Riley's Taylor Swift night. This is so cute. Let me see if I can unmute this. I can see why these tickets are the price they are. <laughs> and 
<laughs> We're just hanging out. The little toys she's playing with were my mom's. It's the first time they've been brought out in years. Oh. Okay. I said the generations. It's funny. Yeah. Of course, Serena stuff. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can. I said a diamond. I can't see paying the price, but after I watched this concert with Riley, if this is what she puts on for a show every damn time, I get why her tickets are so damn expensive. Because I tell ya, there's no way she can play her own by us. We don't have a big enough stadium. They'd have to let her play at Lambo. She ever came, but I don't think she comes. This I don't think of Chicago is the nearest spot. I don't remember, but Diamond is saying yeah, because she's like, I really want to go see Taylor Swift, and Diamond's like, Baby, you're gonna have to do that when you're an adult because we can't afford that. <laughs> so when this came out on Disney Plus. I looked at her PJs and thought, man, she must be burning up. Then realized you are not in Florida. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And right now we had snow. And then it's, and then snow kind of melted. And then it snowed again. And now it's been raining since late last night. <laughs> that was Riley's first night. Thing. I shouldn't say her first night because she spent the night when she, before when she was little, little, where she didn't realize it. But she got to like that age every time we had her, she'd want to go home. And there's been many occasions that Scott and I or Sam and Diamond had to come and get her because of she just for some reason by herself, she'd have a meltdown. No, usually she'd pick like Allie one time to stay with her and then Cole to the next. And most times they ended up with all three. But this Saturday, after the little dinner, it was her turn. So, because I do it, they take turns to stay with me and Scott. And it was Riley's turn. And she wanted to try it on herself. So she had her blankie, she had two stuffed animals. And she had a picture of Sam and Diamond. That's why she's holding up the picture. It's it's not it's it's everywhere she goes. Doesn't matter if it's at Sam's parents. Riley has the same reaction to it. So most of the times, they they come here because it's worse when she's out at Sam's parents for some reason. At least here she's even with the siblings. When she's out at Sam's parents, she has a problem. When she's here with with this with Allie Coda. She's fine. But at Sam's parents, nope. She won't have it. So, but, so she actually, it was funny, because when she woke up in the morning, I was already up. She, and I would go upstairs to check on her after I'm up, because I could hear little, I could hear little footsteps. I didn't know if it was Scott or Riley. It was actually both. And she goes to me, Nana. I'm like, what, Riley? She goes, I did the whole night without crying in one of daddy that's usually riley's a daddy's girl i'm like yes you did see i told you you could do it i th think the picture helped she says i'm like okay i guess we have to have a picture of mommy and daddy i said you do realize i have pictures of mommy and daddy in the house she goes where and i showed her she goes, see i could have just borrowed yours <laughs> so she wanted to stay another night because usually both these, you know, Allie comes just this Friday night, Saturday night, you know. So does Coda. And this was Saturday and the Sunday. She wanted to spend Sunday into Monday. And I said, 
I told Diamond, I got a doctor's appointment. I said, unless you can get here to pick her up. I said, because I didn't know how long this appointment was and have an aunt's a kid. Well, we could have kept her. Scott could have just chilled with her in the car for a while or whatever. Because it was nothing. I didn't need Scott really in the room for with me. Because Scott usually comes in because I get really, my anxiety goes up the roof. So he usually comes to doctor's appointments with me. I think it's childhood trauma that causes that. <laughs> but uh, I could probably handle it. But tomorrow she remembers. Because Diamond, so Diamond's like, I don't think she remembers. I, I said, okay. Well, tomorrow I have the kids because Diamond's in school. The kids are on spring break. And uh, I have the kids tomorrow. I have the kids Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And Thursday is Riley's birthday. So we're having a little birthday get together here. Because kids will be here anyways. And, um, but Riley, Riley asked, I told Riley she could spend the night tomorrow night for her second night. So I don't know what it's going to come down to because, yeah, right away, Allie wanted to, Allie, Allie's the one that always wants to be here. Always. I told Scott, I don't know what you See, that is so cool. I don't want to cover that up. So we're going to leave it like that. But Allie's the one that should move in with Scott and I if we let her. And she might, well, she might, I shouldn't say, yeah, her birthday, she turned eight years old. All righty. Good night, cat. Miss Cat. She'll be eight, Dawn. It's hard to believe. Eight years old. Should be. But Allie's had struggling at at the school district she's in. So Allie might be coming to our school district. And she'll be getting on and off the bus here because Sam will be dropping her off in the morning and then picking her up after. So and because she got in a fight on after school after school last Friday, and uh, kid picked on her, kept on throwing snowballs at her. She said she told him to stop, and then he went up and threw it right in her face. So she kicked him. And Tom's like, she comes home and she's and then they got and then the kid slapped her. Right across the face. Diamond said she had a red cheek mark. So Diamond calls the school. They told her to call OPD. Well, then the officer says to Diamond, well, due to the fact that she kicked him, I would have to write her up. And Diamond goes, excuse me? The hell kind of thing is that? So, so Diamond's like, whatever. I think that's ridiculous. He says, Throwing snowballs at her. She asks him to stop. He walks up and throws one right in her face. So she responds by kicking. And you want to write her up? And Diamond, th Diamond thought it was race. 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 Oh. Race. Related. Because Allie's a white. You know. Allie shows the white skin more than the native skin. And the other kid's native. So. Diamond asked for another police officer. So the other, and, or no, asked to please put the fear of God because she's telling the police officer, this isn't the first time this kid's done this to my child. She just had enough. And uh, Diamond's like, can you go put the fear of God in him a little bit? At least to stop. So he goes, okay. So he goes over there to the house. And you go and look out Diamond's back window and see these people's house. And um, so the police officer gets there, explains to the mom of this child what's going on. And she, the, Diamond said, oh, what the officer said, that the mom was so upset at that boy. First of all, he sh she's like, you shouldn't be throwing snowballs at kid, at anybody. She asked you to stop. She should. The mom, so, the officer said the mom. 
the the mom said to her son, she asked you to stop how many times? A lot. And he continued it. Yep. And then she kicked you in the response because you put snow in her face. Yep. You're lucky she didn't kick your ass and I wouldn't blame her. And you will never hit another woman, a girl in, again. You will go over there and apologize. And the officer was like, what? He goes, and then the, the mom goes, you're telling me that you were going to sh handle this because she responded by kicking my son? Because she asked my son to stop and he continued and then he smashed a snowball in her face. So she kicks him and then it, she's the one that you classify assaulted him? Well, yeah, because she used her body. He goes, she, and a snowball is not an instrument? Yeah, Diamond says her, her mom's reaction surprised her. So I guess on Sunday he they came over because... The mom wanted her mom was headed out the door to go to work, so she called Diamond and they were gonna meet up on Saturday. And Diamond's like, We have family plans on Saturday. So I guess on Sunday they met up and the boy apologized to Allie. Diamond said, I was surprised. Mom's Diamond when they came over, Diamond said the mom was so mad at her son, and the dad was not happy either. Yeah, they don't want to pull her, but things gotta change. And even if, so, I don't, I don't. then it says things got to change because this, that, she don't even want to go to school. Oh, yeah. Diamond said the response of the mom. Like Diamond says, I don't promote violence. But she had the right, if that was her defense, to kick him when he smashed the snowball in her face. And she kicked him. And then the officer said that, that was Allie was in the fault for kicking him. Wait a minute. She went to engage that kid. If, kid. <laughs> if he wasn't throwing snowballs. Yeah. Diamond said, I thought because the kid was more native than Allie. So they run in a lot of that. So now, because Diamond called the school, and the school didn't know what to do. And because it's all the spring, it's spring break, they're on spring break. Dem's like, is this a school matter or, or a private matter that's it because she's so smart oh yeah uh, Allie's yeah so but like Diana said I'm not there is she is next year they're gonna get they're gonna try to get her finished this year she hits high school next year oh my god she's in high school next year and they're gonna ask Allie what she wants to do if she wants to stay or come to school in town by me and Scott. And see what she wants to do. Because Diamond told her, once you go to school by Nana and Papa, you finish, you're not being switched back. It's, you will finish the next four years at that school. We'll make it work, but you, you will... Every day I have to get up, go in with daddy, go to school, get off the bus with, my, with Nana and Papa's. She's like, can I spend a couple nights a night there? She goes, I don't see why not, but it ain't going to be every night. Uh, you have a school activity? Yeah. Yeah. So, they're getting their time. It's because how the kid put it, because the officer asked, well, why are you doing this to her? Because she's weird. That was his definition. Because she's weird. And, I, and, and the mom goes, no, she's not weird. She's unusual, and she's good to stand out on her own. 
And you should learn that. Maybe you should be friends with her so you can understand that. Can't get that stickers. I thought that diamond such was really she expected different. Nope. A mom was diamonds and a mom was not pleased. That's Trump thought her son hit a girl. I don't care if she kicked you or not. I hope she kicks your ass next time the mom said. <laughs> you do this again, I'm allowing it. She goes, I'm gonna let it. I hope she kicks your ass. So now Allie wants to take some. They were supposed to take that self. Oh, what the heck is this called? You know, women take classes to. So, oh yeah, the mom was. Diamond said the mom was best. Even the dad. The dad was not pleased either. Diamond said she was. She didn't know what to expect. And diamond, you know. <laughs> Some parents, not my child. Oh, this mom was not pleased. And then, then the dad found out he was not pleased. So, you know, well, I can't get this stickers. Oh, yeah, yeah. These are so cute stickers. I hope they're stickers, or is that just glue them on like that? I figured these were stickers. I could be wrong. I can't get him up. Well, they're not coming up, so I don't know if these are stickers. I'm just going to kind of... I don't know what to do because they're not. I can't get them to come up. Self-defense class, yes. That's your, that's, well, yeah, that's exactly it. So, uh, I don't know if Sabrina's in here. If these are, she can tell me these are, if these are stickers or not. So. Yep. So, what I'm going to do, due to the fact that I can't get them on stick. I'm just going to. Just chilling. I did not know that. Oh God, I can't remember. Ah, oh, what the hell is his name? Yeah. Him and Farrah Fawcett had a child together. O'Neill or whatever. I didn't know he died. Came across from some Hollywood. I joined this diamond font. This thing called Hollywood something or another and, and I go to I like headstones or looking at graves so she sent me this thing on Facebook that it's movie stars and he he came up today and I was like what I didn't know he died there we go cool can't get it to stay stapler comes in handy and I'll just cover that the next time I get mail I couldn't get them up. I don't want to wreck the note because it's got Sabrina's writing on the back. And I'm just going to. I don't know. That.
Yes, you're crazy like that. There we go. Boom. Cool. Boom. All right. There we go. Okay. There. It's getting pretty thick. See the next time I do it. I use bingo dabbers in this. And I should have used paint. So Kathy said use a wet glue. See, this is coming up, too. Why is this coming up? I don't understand. And I think it's because of the bingo dot or personally. Waxy. Let's see if it stays down this time. So I'll let that dry. Yeah, next time I won't. See, when I was so sick, I lost my voice. I had Scott bring up my. I uh, I was so bored that uh, I came down, and grabbed that, and grabbed some bingo daubers, for, the bingo dauber thing for me, and brought it upstairs so I could at least do something because I was going nuts. I didn't have anything to do. I couldn't talk. I only can watch TV so long. So, Sabrina started this cool thing she shared with me. So my pen is so light that I'm going to do it differently. And it's doodling. And she's awesome at it.
I mean, I got, you know what I mean by doodling? This kind of stuff. She showed me how and shared the videos with me. I got one back here somewhere, too. So, I have these circles in my art journal. Oh, God. Yeah, she's doing awesome. I wouldn't share mine. She's like, go ahead, go, go. And I'm like, no, you showed me. I will not show any what I've been doing until you show your, show what you've been doing. You know, because you're the one that shared it with me. And I don't think that's right. That if, if it, I mean, she got, okay, I got this one from the sale from Kathy. She got this one from the sale from Kathy. And then... I had a diamond old ate one of my used one of my credits on Amazon and I went to go buy it. So then diamond and I'll grab a net for me because she accidentally used my money. But so I it was so funny is that we both she got the Zen book and I'm like, you're gonna have to share that with me because I wanted to learn how to do that. So I got the alpha triangle one. And then we both, I went. I only paid nine dollars for this, and uh, we both been looking through it and discussing, like me, I was putzing, trying to learn different things. But I wouldn't share any of it until she shared hers on her channel because I didn't, I don't, I didn't think it was right of me to do that. When well, she's the one that found the videos and kind of showed me, so I'll show you the few of mine I got started. This is these books I put together. That I bought from, I don't remember. But I bring this, I was doing this upstairs. Sabrina's a hell of a lot better than I am. So we're both kind of putzing with it. But I'd give her the credit. And then, I know, aren't those cute, the birds? Yes. Um... I have to give her credit because she shared it with me and then she shared the video where she found it. So, yeah. But, I was just lying crazy one time. I did it just, I don't know. I like, I told Sprinty when you see spots that are turned black, is where I messed up. <laughs> and, some are weird. And that's the hell of it. This is just with this little book. I carry it back and forth. Because. This is what I told Sabrina. There. I got so many books. Because I was. This one was upstairs. So I grabbed this when I was watching Rue. And I'm like. Damn it Tina Louise. You said you were going to. My goal is, is not to keep using art journals and put more in art journals and have a half a dozen art journals going on. So, what I do, boom. Instead of going upstairs and grabbing that. But I also bought this from Kathy, too. The little, littlest darlings. Color swatch index, 30 pages. I haven't really looked through this yet. <laughs> so cute, big headed girls. Kathy started coloring these. She told me that. So I'm going to, I'll probably color where she didn't finish. Mm 
They remind me of those big brat dolls. Remember the brat dolls? Because they had the big head. I think they were brats. The Lula Darling, just, just Roth, Kelly Claire, Summerine, Emma Jones, Diana, Disco, Poppy Petal, Daisy, Kick. It's got Laura F and something on there. I don't know. Amy Lou. This is what I was interested in right here. Draw your own little Starlin. That's what I want to try to learn how to do. Cause that's what I was more interested in than uh, the coloring pages. Is I wanted to see if I could learn. But I ain't even going to touch this and try to figure this out until after my surgery. I'm not going to get into another project until after. Color swatches index. Thank you for your purchase of the littlest darling. Please enjoy the following bonus pages from my book. Since our book darlings, also keep a lookout for my newest books coming. Ah, so we got bonus. They don't got as big as head. Wizard of Oz. There we go. Pages that Kathy tried to do. <laughs> Cute. <sighs> so, I did this the other day, sitting here. I don't know if I'm going to do them or not. But I did this. I think that turned out really good. And then I did this. <laughs> oh, I colored it on the outside of the doodle in here. Mess there. So I was feeling the other day. <coughs> This is doodling in the background.
Oh, I got any blacker on that. Oh, this one? This. Yeah, these are uh, Kalad soup. And my sleeping habit's all off again. And my head, I told Scott the other day, I felt like I was lying in bed. I thought I was getting vertical because it seemed like my head was spinning. Just spinning. Nope. Oh. This one? Okay, we'll start from the front. I don't know what one you're talking. Um, these are all collage soup images. I'm not done with them. Because I usually just put them down and I make them back and do some. But some of these I just don't want to touch. You know? Because they're pretty on their own. I thought this was funny. Hmm. I don't remember. Hmm. I got so many going on. One side with white around the page, and the other page with black. Oh. Hmm. Oh. I'd have to look through my book. Well, I do know what you can do, by the way. I got this new medication. It loses aftertaste. Oh, it just throw me crazy. Call my doctor. Called by Stuart Andy. comes back starts happening like an hour after I take the medication. I don't know what it is. It's terrible. Oh. Oh, oh, I hate that when it happens. I did this one too. This one, go back. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. <laughs> okay, the woman with the bird on its head. Okay, we're, okay, we're going to start off again. We have the flower woman. We got the man and the cows. And the woman with the bird. Oh, okay. Then we got jeweled woman. 
and um no outline people this is cool I like doing that one and why does my mind not stop spinning this one The outline people. Well, this is just paint. I put paint down. I was practicing. Um, I was practicing practicing my Mandela. And uh, because you can kind of see the circles, that's Mandela underneath there. I was practicing. And uh, and I watched this video where the lady did this, and I'm like, oh my god, I got to do that, and I had the page in here. Like I gotta try it. I thought it turned out pretty damn good, actually. I'm really happy with this page, except it's sticking. Didn't realize that. Bad. I don't get paint on my sweater I'm wearing, I'll be happy. So I was gonna mess with paint. Is I don't got my right sweater and I think it's upstairs. And I didn't feel like going upstairs and get it. So I'm not gonna let this dry. I want to let that dry completely. Let's see what else I've been doing. Um, <clears throat> nothing much. Just stop doodling. Off and on. Um, I got my art bag jump done. Um, my goal is to get this finished this year. I said I'm finishing journals. I started journals, and I'm going to finish these damn things by the end of the year. These are my black journals. And... I started in 2021. And this is like the color. So I was doing a form of doodling, but not as tense as what uh, Sabrina showed me. Because these are just stencils, basically. 
that I kind of put down and just doodled around. Some I haven't even finished. And that's the app in that one. And then this one. There's only black and white. I'm going to start this one. I want to say about the same year, 2021. Let's see, you can see that. Little circles. And I just did these. This was done. I just didn't do anything with it. And then I decided to try doodling in the white. I don't think I did too bad. But yeah, this is my black and white journal. This is my color journal that I add color into. About the same. I think I did more. No, well, maybe. Yeah, yeah, look about the same. Yes, we are. We were gonna go out and have brunch, but it was thirty dollar or thirty where we went last year. Was it last year or the year before? Last year, it was like twenty dollars up, up for. So I mean, a good brunch. How they put it on? They moved it up to thirty-five bucks a person. That's pretty expensive. And you know, like Diamond says, they classified Allie as an adult. So that's Sam, her, Allie, and Leah as an adult. And then Riley and Coda as kids. And it went by their age. And so what we did, we're going to do breakfast. We're having breakfast. They'll be here. We're going to have like 11 o'clock brunch, kind of. We're going to do pancakes, sausage. Bacon, eggs, French toast, and then the Easter egg hunt. And then I'm going to kick them out and tell them to go home. <laughs> After it helped me clean. <laughs> With four days, I go have my surgery. <laughs> Look what I'm getting done. Ready? Here's my new baby. Very good. Two to the babies. There she is, right there. Um, let's see, let's see the picture.
Uh, there's, 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 right there is the better one. Right there. It's too pretty. Yep. It's a new fur baby. They're only like two weeks old. Their eyes just open. So, I think that is, I don't remember what Diamond told me. It'll be a while yet. But I bought the litter box. I bought some cat toys. I bought, um, uh, I'll show you. I was kitty shopping last night. <laughs> <coughs> and, uh, so. I would just hold a little bundle of cat toys. 32 toys. And at this litter box for upstairs for now. And then when uh, sh she gets bigger, oh, I'm going to move the litter box downstairs. Oh, a Diamond's girl, di a friend of Diamond's, okay, Savannah's friend. Had a litter of kittens right after Scott said I could have one or have a cat. And then I got this coming. Bought that. And then I'm going to buy another one so she has one upstairs. And then Scott's going to measure and I'm going to buy a cat door for it upstairs. But I'm going to start out with the litter box in the office up here. And then once she gets bigger, I'll probably move the litter box downstairs or have one in our office and then one downstairs too. I don't know. But I'll buy a better, better, better one. Well, how it started was Chantel made a comment about M Mabel. Uh, cat that they have that she's always hiding out because of the dogs. They thought about, she's like, maybe we might rehome that. So I talked Scott into it. Well, then Xavier said, no, I, wanna, I don't want to get rid of her. So then it left me like, oh, okay. Never mind then. <laughs> so. We were going to get a man, man, two, man, something. They were $300. And I found out. Diamond's lucky. Just talking to a lady about it. I picked, and Diamond said he had to put 150 bucks down. Diamond said I can do it tomorrow. Well, then Savannah's mom got all excited too. She wanted to put the money down and kept on asking for different currency. So it was a scam. We found the same cat on a different site. They were actually a legit one that had them, but it was almost a thousand dollars. I was like, I ain't paying no thousand dollars for a damn cat. I've never had a brand new cat. Hold on, that sounds bad. Melody, we rescued Lucy and Paws, they were the grandkids' cats. So I've never had a kitten. I've never na named an aunt, a cat before. So <laughs> I was talking about names. Um. And so Diamond's been sending me pictures, and I said I got Martini, Martina. Or Matilda. Or Fred. And she goes, Fred? I said, yeah, I was seeing if your dad um, was paying attention. That's when he turned to you and goes, Fred? <laughs> I said, okay, you are listening. And then Diamond said, well, Picasso, because of the other, all the colors. And I went starry after Vincent Knight. And Diamond's like, what about Victoria? But she goes, Starry's cute. And then after I did the three M's, Martina, Mart 
Matilda Martina and Mark and Mar Martini. They're so close to Xavier's cat's name, so I changed my mind. So now I'm back at the throne. Like Scott says, once you once you go see it and you hold it in your hands, <laughs> Fred, I'm calling her Fred. <laughs> um, Scott says, once you have it in your hands, Dummy brings her over. The name will come to you. But he's going to make, oh, what he else is going to do is, so I don't have to bend up and down so much, he's going to put the litter box up on a little stand. So Scott's going to make that for downstairs. Temporary, it'll be up here. So I, I don't always have to bend down so much. That was hard on me with the last, I'm not a young person anymore. I tell you, my knees can't take that. So him and Sam are going to build me a stand. Not too high, but not as hot on the floor, you know. I told him I wanted a self-cleaning litter box. 500 bucks! I'm like, don't, nope, I guess I'm the self-cleaning litter box. But if these aren't healed on time... Because I don't know how old the cat's got to be when they start weaning them from their mom. And then uh, Diamond's got going to get a vet appointment right away. And Because um, Diamond's putting it under her vet insurance. <laughs> so I can save money. Hi, Miss Gigi from Sweden. So Diamond's just going to put the cat under her, her vet insurance for me. And then I'll just pay Diamond. Instead of having two policies. So. Um, but I'm excited. Because I miss having a pet. I tell ya. I didn't realize I would. Me and Scott weren't going to get an animal again. We talked about it after we had to put Lucy down. We really were not going to. But we both kind of miss having that little pet around the house. I don't. My old vet retired. My vet retired. Oh, my vet? Yeah. Yeah. My farmer vet? Yeah. Diamond goes to a country vet, too. Because I want to get her spaded. You know, of course, I don't when it. She, I don't know. How, like I told Diamond, all my cats were already, you know, I never had to do it. Um, Because all my cats were already pre-owned. I've never had brand new cat. I feel like I'm getting a new baby. So don't get her all those up in what? Stots? That's what Diamond said and Chantel told me. Chantel said they don't get their cats shots too much either. She goes, she gets them the initial to get them spaded, and then she says she doesn't get they're they're in the house. She goes, well, I don't know. I've never I said, I don't know. I'm Um, they are, I have many different types. Let's see. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. They are, I don't know if you can, do you have Amazon by you, Miss Gigi? They're called acrylic by Let, Let, to, Let, to, L E T O. I'll put that in there. These are, I've used them for a long time. They also have them in the, this one is the bigger one. I could show you. Hang on. This one's almost dead. I use them so much. Let me get the packaging. Okay. Where are you? Yeah. So. I have. Okay. Acrylic paint pens. Marks on anything. Water-based. 
then made in China, of course. And these I'm trying to these are my newest ones, and they are acrylic pants, marks on anything water-based. Oh, who's the maker on these? Yeah, just acrylic paint painter. Um I got them on Amazon. But I do like, see, this is a different tip. It's a bigger little tip. And then there's, this one's a little thinner, if you can tell the difference. Can you see that? Hi, Scrappy Dana. And then this is the bigger tip. I got them all in black and white. But, yeah, I really, they do. I smeared that myself because I pressed down too much. But this is done with them. So this one is L-E-T-O, Leto, L-E-T-O. Yep. Most of the ones I get, like these, I can't find a name on. It's weird. I've had them off Amazon. Because Schreiser manufactured S. Okay, S. H E N Z H E N Schneiser Schneiser that's who made these ones because the thing is is they come up and you know how Amazon will send out a feed um and this one is let's see if I could do for that um Yeah, this one, the big ones, I don't know. But most of the brands that I bought, I've got them in black and white. But I've used them both. I use them white. I use black more than probably any color. And if they go look like this, because you see what I do, I store all my pens like this. Okay. All right. I got this little cowl thing. I store all my pens like this. With the tips going down. So that when I go to use it, okay, I just kind of give it a shake and it works. That's the black, and that is this brand. Yeah. Uh, acrylic painter called acrylic painter yep but yeah i store them all like this so that they they ink and then i just remix them they are yeah they're all from china but i got some let's see I've used these for a while. I won't. They cover good. Because. The only one thing I'll tell you. Is make sure your paint's dry. If you go to. Oh my like. Let's see. I could go around. I go, that's paint pen. I don't use a Stabilo. I, that's different kind of pens I've had. I'm trying to see where I doodled a lot. Oh, right here. This is a good, that's all the white pens and the black pens. Oh, well, here we go. So we have the black. Well, that's my bigger one. Um, this one. That's this one. And then this is this one. And I just kind of give it a dot. And then 
this is this white sometimes depending i've come to realize you might have to go over it twice with the white depending but make sure my, my biggest habit um my worst habit is i don't I, even if you blow dry it's not totally dry and you ruin your pens zoom out a little bit listen is that better <laughs> But um, they work pretty good. I like them. But yeah, I'm impatient, so I hate having to wait when I do a background and then I have to wait to uh, doodle on it. Like this is just with a black different pens I was trying out, and then I went over with white just to see what it looked like. That's done with the black, black pen, marker pen, and then me doodling it with the white. Different pens. So cut off. I can't do anything about it, Dana. I'm sorry. I'm as far as up as I can get. I <sighs> better. I'm using StreamYard instead of your typical YouTube, so it's messing me up. I think the, the whole view is different. It wouldn't let me go on tonight. But, like I said, the one thing I'm impatient about is when I get the paint on the page and I want to start doing all this, but I can't because I ruined so many tips. If you don't, even if you blow dry it, it's not totally dry. I have ruined so many tips on my, my paint pens. But the thing is, is I'll take an old paint pen. Like there's a couple with the, like this. And I thing is, is this is almost, no, let me see. Oh, nope, that's not almost empty. I wait. Look at this. This is almost empty. This is how you tell. Can you hear that? Yeah. So what I do is... I don't throw these away right away because once in a while I got some cool and I just come in. Okay. But I save the tips just in case I ruin a tip. <laughs> it's very impatient. It's like, I want to go. I want to go to go to him. Yeah. And I don't know how Scott goes to me. Scott said he's going to lock my craft door after I have my surgery next week. Cause he says he's. I said what? He's gonna. I'm a, he says he's gonna pad a lock my craft room. I'm like why? He goes because I can't trust you. He said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cause the tips just come right out of them. Yeah, they just pull out. You just, you know. So I save them. And then if I ruin a tip, I take one out of one. Are you good idea? used um yeah that's what he told me he's gonna lock my lock me out of my craft room i'm like you so he's like grab your tablet grab your phone because <laughs> he says he could see me in here doing this this is what he told me it was funny left-handed go on <laughs> this is all bandaged up <laughs> that's what he told me he, got, he says, you'll be in there doing it with your left hand. You'll be figuring it out. Because I don't know what a club... They, this is what they told me. I'm having my carpal tunnel surgery next Thursday. You got left-handed art. And in there, clubbing it? Club cast? They called it club... I don't know what that means. I looked it up. I can't find anything about what the, what the what a club... Cup, club cast is it's not a brace she told, there i don't know 
They have no idea. So, I told Scott, I guess I'm coming out looking like a, on the right. If you're a, yep, they're doing this hand, the right hand first. Oops, I don't want to get on my sweater. Um, we're doing this hand first, and then in two weeks later, I will have this hand done. But then they, they it will be in a club. Cl I want to say she said club cast or cub class cast. I don't. This woman was not from our country, so I could. There was just very hard to understand. But she said something about it'll be about right here, it'll be about right there. You know, keep my arms, my wrist straight. So I don't know. I guess I'll see when I wake up. The procedures, told Scott. I don't even know my time yet. I'll be getting that with my package in the mail. I'm like, what? With all the details, it'll be there. I'm like, do you? I said to her, um, I hope you realize next week's the fourth. So, she says that if I don't have it by the end of this week, I have to call. And I said, why don't you get the packet ready now? I didn't understand that until Scott. I never heard anything so wacky. Um, you would think they'd have that all set up. And here's your package. Here's what you need to do before surgery on next Thursday. But no, they're mailing it to me with my point, with my time in the afternoon. And I'm supposed to be handy just in case they have a cancellation they can get me in earlier. So no drinking, clear liquids. So no Pepsi. She did say I could have a Pepsi in the morning, but then after that I have to go to clear liquids. So I'm like, oh. Well, no food. So it's got to have a Big Mac ready for me when I come out. But she told me, Dad, nope. I'm like, nope. She goes, nope. <laughs> I'm like, light foods after. I guess initial surgery should go right into having a Big Mac, she said. I laughed. I've only had outpatient surgery twice in my life. No. Nope. Yeah, twice. My eye, my last eye surgery, and my gallbladder. I was always hospitalized for all the rest of them. At least I told Scott, bring me sunglasses. Because I don't handle coming out of anesthesia anesthesia real well. And the last time with my gallbladder, I know back in the... I have to go to work now. Have a good night. Sleep well. What, what? It is 12.20 a.m. here. I'm in Wisconsin. You're probably what a six hours ahead, eh? Twelve. I don't remember. You're in the UK, right, Miss Gigi? Is that what she said? Uh, Sweden. Yeah. Sweden. Sweden. Hey, that's where my doctor's from. Six twenty a.m. Okay. So six hours. Because my doctor, I couldn't hardly understand. He's Sweden. I asked him where he's from. He goes, Sweden. Well, that's funny. Yeah. All I said to him is, do you have a steady hand? And he goes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Because <laughs> I really didn't want this surgery. Because my grandma had it. And she, and she never, she always was in pain after. And I didn't want but it. He told me, we've come a long way from your grandmother's days. And I'm like, okay. Because I, my grandmother, she had a scar right like this. I won't, I'll just have like right there. That's his pen marks on my, I don't know what pen they use, but I wish I could get it. Because I did dishes and I still can't get that off. <laughs> but uh, that's where about my, my incision will be about right there. I'm like, huh? Not right there? He goes, nope, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> well, no, I, I can't. I can wash it off. It just won't wash off. 
So I was like, that's the from my appointment today. I said, man, I told Scott, I don't know what pen they use, but damn. So Diamond said to take some alcohol to it. Because they'll mark that all back up before my procedure. But I got my I got my list. I said to the lady, can I have pudding? She goes, yeah, you can have pudding after her. She goes, she said, you have to eat really light. I want you to eat really light the night before and really light the next day. And I'm like, oh. She goes, because she was reading my file. I'm the one that throws up after a procedure. I don't know what it is. Every time I come out, I end up throwing up. So I'm like, well, I'll starve myself the whole day. She's like, <laughs> They are skin markers, yeah. I mean, they're good because I did the dishes for the last this, this me and Scott's dinner, and it didn't come off. Not even on the side where I rubbed against it right there. There, so I smeared these because he was pointing things out. Because he says this right here, it shouldn't be. This is all puffy. He told me. It's all puffy. It was feeling like this. I was figuring my hands were fat. But yeah, he says that's all swelling. I'm like, you sure? He goes, yeah. He goes, this probably will come down after the procedure. Huh. And then I realized that I just assumed that was staying on a very long time. Yeah, that's what that much time. Because Diamond, at first, we didn't know Scott's boss was being an idiot. Scott's like, I'll quit my damn job. Because Scott said, I need the fourth off. And at, in the morning of the, he says, and depending how Tina is in the, the night, he goes, I may not have to, can't work the fifth. And then I, and then on the 16th, it's going to happen in 16th at the 17th. Well, Diamond told, yeah, told Scott, she can come in, come in on that Friday and keep an eye on me the day after. So then he does not take up for two days in a row. But she can't be take me to the surgery on Thursday because she has class. But she told that, she told Scott, she could come after class to sit with me if you wanted to work the night, like that night. So Because... This week, he's basic. Too bad it was like it, we couldn't. Did. I could have did it Thursday. Scott's off because all the kids are out of are on spring break. But I have Diamond's kids, and I didn't want to put her scrambling for a babysitter. Hey, by the way, you need to find somebody to watch your kids for Thursday, and it's Riley's birthday. I don't want to do that to Riley because we're having Riley's dinner. Yeah, they're like we can do it Thursday. And I'm like, what? This Thursday? And she goes, yeah. I'm like, I can't. I said, I have my grandkids, and I have my granddaughter's birthday. I said, and, all, and the birth party's at my house. And she's like, okay, no problem. We can schedule you for the next week. And I'm like, I told Scott, I didn't think it did. I, thought, I figured it'd be a month out. But you know what? I'm glad it's going to be done. So then my summer is not ruined. So I can finish. I said, he knows. Scott knows the first thing I'm going to do. I want to paint my upstairs so bad. Scott said he knows right away what's going to happen. I'm going to get the okay, and I'm he's going to go to work, and he's going to come back, and I'm going to have the hallway upstairs washed and <laughs> taped off to start painting it. I'm like, you bitch, it's on my list. Because I haven't did squat. Because I couldn't. I can't. And, I mean, this is nothing. This, doing this doesn't hurt me. Doing things like this motion. Oh my god. Yeah. I get... No. I don't know why it's this motion. He had he bent my he bent this up my hand up so far to, like this and had me keep it there. Oh, I could have smacked him. But at least it's getting done. And my blood pressure is good, because when I walked in, they had me. They had a note from my 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 uh, regular doctor, Doctor Cal 
Dr. Kawasako is my regular pediatrician to check my blood pressure because I had a blood pressure issue when I was sick with my voice. When I got losing my voice, they took my blood pressure and I had to go back after I went through the antibiotic. So I'm back and it was my blood pressure was back to normal. So he wanted to recheck it because he was going to have me come in to recheck it in his office. But he's like, wait a minute, you have a doctor's appointment when? And I said the 25th. So it was checked on March 5th. It was back to normal. And then today, all good. Because if my blood pressure was off, then we this would have been put off. And then we would have had to figure out what was going on. But normal. He thinks that whatever the virus I had was, was, was causing me. And then we talked about my medication. Because I said to the doctor, after I have this, do I go off the galapantin? Gala, gay, bug, pant, whatever. And, um, gaba, tent, gaba, whatever. And he will wean me off that. Because I take it, I think, twice, three times a day now. Three times, three times a day. I think it's three times I'm on it a day. So after surgery, we're going to wean me off it. So I don't, I guess, I, I didn't realize it's supposed to be semi-addictive. I don't feel like I need the Jones for it. But I haven't been off it either, so I don't know. And then I asked if I was allergic to anything because they're putting me on a painkiller too. Gallop, yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I didn't realize that, or I probably went to took it. I would have probably dealt with the pain. But he asked me, get yeah, gabba, yeah, that one. He asked me if I was taking it other than when I was told to take it. And I'm like, nope, this only one. I said, take it. When I'm told to take it, and I said, and there's some days I forget because I'm not. I said, Scott goes, so she's sleeping. I don't wake her to take her medication because then she'll be up. So there's times I miss it. And he goes, and you don't have no, like, uh, and I'm like, no, I just get up the next day and take it the next morning. Research the meds. It, it is for epilepsy also. Ah. All I know is, of all the medication, I said I'm on four right now. I'm on the uh, medication to quit smoking. I'm down to six. No, what did I count? Because I got asked. Um, I'm smoking the average of probably three cigarettes and a half. So I go up. Um. Yeah, I won't be, yeah, no. So I said to the lady, I'm probably down to four cigarettes maybe every two days. She's like, so the medication. So I said, yeah. I said, if I keep myself occupied and I don't go upstairs to talk to Scott, I may, I'm fine. I can sit, if I'm downstairs because he's in his smoking room, then I want to light up. But I make, I've been making Scott come downstairs or I call him on my phone so I don't have the temptation. But the craving for the cigarette is it's getting less and less. Because I he raised, I told him, I said, I don't know, Dr. Kawasako, this pill you gave me for helping me wean me off the craving for cigarettes ain't working. So he raised it to 300 milligrams once a day. And since he did then, I ain't craving as much nicotine that cigarette or eight or eat but I, the one i said to him i want to keep my i said to him how long um till i stop that medication he told me three months and, and i was like finally down to no cigarettes which i'm very close to doing and then three months after that then he'll 
probably stop that one. I was like, okay. The gabapentin, gabapentin is just till the hands are done. And then I have my joint medication because my joints are bad. He's keeping that one in and then I request to be staying on the anxiety medication. Because I tell you, since I got that anxiety medication, I have not slept. That, I mean, my purple bed is awesome. But I still, my mind still races. And uh, that's why I did this page back here. Right here. Because my insurance, we, switched, we had got different insurance. And they were, I don't know what the hell. For some reason... Three of my medication went through, and then my anxiety didn't. And my doctor had it ordered for a monthly for till next year, March, when I go see him. My, you know, I have a because I see him again in July for a med check. Yeah, June or July, one of those two. It's wrote down. And then it later. Um, hang on. No. <clears throat> I told Scott I've never taken this many medication since I was a kid when I was going through my eye stuff. Okay, let's see what this pill look like. Yeah, this is what they got me on for cutting smoking. Bu whatever. Bu. That's to help quit smoking. Okay. Yeah, here's my anxiety. Yeah, bus would be right there. It's my anxiety. And here's the gabapentin. Yeah, I take this three times a day. It is like crazy. And then this is for my joints. Cellar, cell, cellacox, cell, yeah, cellacox. But, you know. But I told the doc I want to stay on the anxiety medication in my joint medication. But the other two, after a while, I want them gone. And of course, my vitamin. Oh, it's just dry. I don't want to wreck it again. Oh, it's not dry. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, it's helping me. It's sleep. It's, well, Coke, as I was saying, these scots, which we had, to, we did affect scots working, we're not, we're in, we didn't qualify for the state assistance program with insurance. We had to get insurance. But due to the fact that Scott's company has not 50 employees or whatever, they don't have to carry insurance. So, but his, company had uh, it falls in this other program because it's a small company so diamond and scott and i and the lady from the work scott's work helped us get us insurance which is good we, had, we got a good insurance i have to and it's really not expensive at all for scott and i to have it i mean um, it's about the same what me and scott were paying with the state insurance so we didn't we didn't it's, only thing is is now we didn't have cold payments we have cold payments cotton like today cost me ten dollars so because scott like scott said if i have to get a different job to have insurance i'll do it he was ready but then they had this program because of the company i ended up having to get colon surgery because really Ooh. That was bad. Let's sell. 
This one? The Celebrex? Oh, see, you're at Celebrex. See, this is Celecox. I don't have Celebrex. Is that this one? Yeah, this is Cel. It's C E L E C O X I B. Yeah. Yeah. And my surgery has, um, they figured that out. It's another $10 initially, but it should be only like 400 bucks. It is the same. Oh, it is. Oh, I've been taking that for God. This one, the cello for at least four years now. That's the one I take for my joints. I take one tablet capsule by mouth in the morning and then one in the evening. Oh, damn. And that's what they figured it, it was from? I'm going to talk to my doctor about that one, though. The only reason I went on it is I bent down and in front of my doctor and my knees cracked. And he was like, Tina Hoff, does that do that? I'm like, oh, I've been doing it since I was a kid. And, uh... Since he put me on that, my joints don't do that anymore because they were bad. <clears throat> ah. See, my, my doctors, my doctor won't. My, I have a good doctor. My doctor, Kalasako, who is my primary, he's really good because he's taking me off medications. The, like, I don't know. I went to the emergency room and I came to see him. And I, you know, you check with your surgeon. Man, he took me off a of medication immediately. Cause, yeah. And then the cell, uh, GABA, tab, GABA, this one, the GABA, he didn't want me on that this long, except stupid insurance won't cover the first procedure. So now that's where I am now. Yeah. How'd you figure out something was going on with your colon? Can I ask you what was the science? I'm curious. If you don't mind me asking. I mean. See, I run the tip on this one. You can tell that I didn't wait. I had extreme pain and my ankle swollen one week and so went to the ER and it did a C scan. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know. Yeah, I think I've been on it like five years. I haven't had any. Yeah. So I was wondering. Cause I quit taking it and I got yelled at from my doctor. Cause I was, I could, he's like, Tina, are you taking? And I'm like, Oh shoot. 
You could tell because I wasn't, I don't know how you could tell. But when I went in for my physical, he goes, you need to take that. It also, it also helps with my sciatica. I ended up in an emergency room because I had a, I call them flare ups. I couldn't take the pain anymore. So I'm going to ask my doctor because I see him. I know I have an appointment in, like I said, June or July. But then I think I'll have another follow-up appointment after my surgery with my regular doctor. There's an artery that exceeds your abdomen called the mesosteric artery. Somehow it stopped blood flow to part of... Oh, damn. Damn. See, my dad had the same problem, and he thought he had gout. I remember that. Get up in the and uh, I told my dad, "You need a new doctor," because so, he switched to a doctor closer to him. Because my dad. Lives up in Stevenson, Michigan. So he went through the clinic up there or closer to him instead of running all over to Green Bay all the time. And uh, a doctor up, told, up there told me he had gout. So they put him on medication. And my sister and I, and it was one of the, as a matter of fact, it's the last time, that's when I found, the, that's the hospital visit where I was dead. Um, Stand up in the emergency room. My name is in Green Bay. My sister took him in. And here it was his colon. And someone with a small intestine or something also. He got very lucky. Man, when I saw him, man, did he look rough. I thought I was he was on death door. I really thought. But he had some surgery. He came back from it. He was too damn hungry. But um It was from medication he was on. That's all I know that caused this. Nope. Nope. Seriously, I, don't, I know a lot of times when they're on multiple meds, it causes different direct effects. It is nuts. I would never see that's the thing and that's why I don't uh, this is driving me crazy that I'm on all these but I see the I see the effect of what they're doing like the the beer or whatever this is an, uh, an antidepressant I guess but like the beer pro to pain however you say that it's doing its job for me it's helping me quit smoking it's getting me over that kick now the gata, gata pentin, that's only because of my hands right now. So in a month's time, I'll be off that. Well, I shouldn't say that because my surgery is in April. So by May, I should be off this. Because I asked about this today. If I sh if, When do I stop this? Because the only reason I'm on this is because of this. So once this is done, they're going to wean me off this. Like he said, he, he was like, do you know how many times to take it? So he looked at me and says, he probably said he'll have me start taking it after this surgery two times a day until after this surgery. And then we're going to go down to one time a day and then totally gone. And I'm like, okay. And then like the cigarette one, once I quit, it's only one more month. And then I told him I want to stay on the anxiety and the joints. What kills me is just to see how the medication Scott takes. And that's when we were trying to get insurance. 
We didn't get the letter from the state until four days. Oh, by the way, March 1st, you lose your insurance. I told Scott, I told Diamond, I don't care about me. We have to get dad insurance. Even if I went without insurance and to, just to get Scott's insurance for his medication, he, this guy, I'm like, I don't. Get. So we got on the phone and they extended ours until the 15th of March because she don't know why the letter didn't get to us sooner. And then, um, I, I said to Scott, now I know why people don't go to work. Scott goes to work and we're making 15 bucks an hour. That's all Scott makes. And they said our income is too high for any assistance. I'm like, but we are paying for our insurance. So that's what got us. But we didn't qualify for that program anymore because Scott made too much money. I'm like, what? And I'm like, okay. Well, then it freaked me out. Diamond kicked me out of the house that day, actually. It was funny. So, Scott says, there is something my boss told me about. Well, then he got a hold of the lady, and the lady told Scott. The phone be back, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, so... We found insurance. That's that bad insurance. I mean, at least we got coverage. That was the main thing. Hi, Steph. So I'm hoping that this doesn't take long. I've never known anybody except my grandma that had carpal tunnel surgery. So I don't know what the average healing is. Oh, my God. Diamond was on with them for three hours. And then she had a, they had an appointment phone call for the next day. But we got insurance. And that's what the good thing is. Because I don't have that stuff. Diamond, I called Diamond my secretary. I pay her. Because um, she... Uh, Borrowed some money from Scott and I to pay for a trip for Allie. And so she makes payment to us. Well, when she comes here, and uh, really? Yep. Um, that was, yeah, me, that's what I, that was what I was worried about too. But um, so. When she comes here and handles my insurance and does that stuff, I, I, I call her my secretary. You go through our ledger, you see Diamond Secretary minus 50 bucks. Because I think she should be paid for her time. She's like, Mom, you don't have to do that. I'm like, no, you're giving me. I said, Diamond, you gave up four hours of your time in two days. Two hours one day, two hours the next day to get me and Dad insurance. Because I don't understand any of that stuff. I get frustrated. So Diamond does it. I said, it's only, I only think it's right that you get paid for your time. She goes, well, I appreciate it. But you didn't have to. And I'm like, I know I don't have to, but I don't think it's fair. Because she's so calm. I would, yeah, I don't have it in me. She's going to make a great. Social clubs. Speaking of that, I'm so proud of this. Ready for this one? Oh, let me bring this up. So she messages me. And she's all excited. And I'm so happy for her. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Nope. I don't know what it exactly is. But it says, I applied for, oops, I applied for S-T-I-P-E-N-D to pay for my senior year and master program, and I got it. My whole rest of my degree are paid for. 
All I have to do is commit to one year of working in a child welfare program in a C average. I'm already na national high honors, so that is no big deal. Woohoo! And she's already going in child. So. Man, Steffi, you're in California, aren't you? Estrada Creations. Do I remember correctly? Yes, you. Oh, you're in Arizona? Oh, I thought okay. I thought you were in California. Why did I think you were in California? I don't know. If I was in California, let's see if I can bring it up. Come on. Okay, home search. Prairie. Come on. Oh, okay. So, I can't remember. Um, they're having a 50, an 50, 50 year anniversary of um, Little Prairie House and something Valley. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Modern Prairie Foundation, Melissa Gilbert, stops by our booth at the 50th anniversary of Little House on the Prairie Festival, connected with our community. The best part is seeing. Many wonderful smiling faces, but it, uh, something valley in California. I can't remember. I would have loved to go into that. That would have been so cool. Uh, let's see. I think it would have been so cool. How you managed to coordinate all the whole like world out here. On the Hidden Valley or something? It would have been so cool. I can't remember. Let's see. I don't, what's, it, what's it called? Um, Sim Valley, California. Yeah. S-I-M-I -I Valley, California. Was, they were hosting the Little Prairie House on the days. It was so cool looking. But I'd have been like, damn, that would have been cool to see in person. I asked Diamond the other day. I'm like, hey, Diamond, do you still have your Little House on the Prairie books? And she goes, yes. I'm like, can you get them out for me? She's like, why? I said, I want to read them. She goes, so seriously, Mom? I'm like, yeah, I want to read them again. It's been years. I can't do anything in my hands. I might as well freaking read a book. I can turn a page. 
I could finally finish my Van Gogh book. <laughs> Three years into it. Oh my god, that book drives me crazy. Like that would have been awesome to go to, you know. See, I met Almanzo here when he was here in Green Bay at the, our little Heritage Hill um, Museum. He was there when, when, signing autographs. So not me. And I went. Me and Diamond went. That was years ago. The one thing about using a paint pen, pen in here, I have to watch where I smear it. So, so fix that. So I kind of blow while I'm doing it. All righty, start here. See one of these down here. And then a little boop right there. And a little doof doof doer. And a little one here. So I have to thank Sabrina for showing me this lady's video. And I can't think of the lady off my head right now. But damn, she did a good job educating us. Because uh, the techniques she showed was so cool. And uh, Sabrina's just doing phenomenal with it. And then she showed me. And I'm like, oh my god, I want to learn that. So then, if you go to Sabrina's channel. Oh, she looks awesome. The one I'm struggling with. And I have to, I'm going to go back and rewatch the video. For some reason, I don't think it looks right to me when I do it. I'll do it here. So then you just make a little use, a little mountain use. That might just be the way I'm doing it. So I'm going to go back and rewatch this lady's videos. So I'm going to do here. You fill that all in. Oops. Um, should have spaced that more. That's all right. Because I mess up. I ring block good. Tidy it up a little bit. Maybe you won't even notice that I messed up there. Sometimes I get lucky. Sometimes I don't. So. Well, I've been doodling. You know, you all know that because you can tell by the look that I'm always doing something doodling. So, you know, but this is a different form of it. And um, Sabrina's really good at it. Wow, she's good at it. But this one is supposed to look like, I don't know. <laughs> but I think I'm doing it wrong. And let's see I, if I can bring it up. This one lady that Sabrina came across Nope, not my videos. Okay, playlist. Okay. She only has a few videos. Turn where you 
words into images with AI. Is hi everybody. I'm Don. Um, those of you who follow me know that. <laughs> Painted willow <laughs> art. Who don't? Now they will know. Um, I am super glad that you all voted to have. Let's see. Is this the one she does it at? I mean, this one is phenomenal. Hello, my friends. As I'm starting to yeah, see. do these doodles, I ask. Let's see. Let me zoom in and show you. On this one, I've got a little tail hanging off. I didn't get it exactly on the. Trying to find it. Right Not looking okay. just like this, only it's facing a different direction. So when you're doing me, okay. caught up in whether or not it's perfectly on the line or meeting the line. Just enjoy the drawing part. Wow. Really long, but you get the idea. That's going to come out looking just like this, only it's yeah. facing a different direction. This looks so so much when nicer. you're doing these, not all of your doodles have to be going the same direction. Certainly, turn your paper, look at it from all different directions, and see what talks to you. Where is the page that shows it? I mean, look at that. Look how good. Ah! Hi, everybody. I mean, it's case. Hi, everybody. I'm Dawn. Um, those of you who follow me know that. <laughs> those people who but go check out her channel. Now they will know. Um, I am super glad that you all voted. But this lady explained it so good. But for some reason, I think this one, I keep messing this one up. I think I'm losing too much space. Base. So let's see if I clean it up here. Maybe it'll look better. Hers didn't look like she left a lot. Just a smidgen. But you know what? I haven't been doing it too often. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Painted Willow Art. Hang on. Uh, I wish I was. Hello, my friends. Um, I've got another doodle video for you. Yeah. Painted Willow Art. She only got a few videos up. She is on, on a website. She has her own site you can pay for, but I'm a cheapskate. I didn't pay for it. Um, <laughs> I don't, I'm bad, but and one thing I'm pretty proud of, and I show you, I can show you, and I'm still working on it. I put out a bag border is doing the Mandela. I thought I did pretty damn good. I do realize I got my dots a little too close that I should have more space in between them. But I thought I did pretty good. Now I just got to work on it a little more. A little bit more. Because by summertime, I want to be able to put them on more on rocks. If I could find a decent gel pen that would work, that's white. I mean, I got these ones where are you? Right here. Jelly roll. I can't get them to work. I've tried. Brand new. Nope. Right up. All that ink in there and I can't get it to work. 
both of them. Even the black. Oh, black, I got to work. White, I can't work, get it to work. Nice. Is that your favorite? <laughs> oh, let me write that down. S P R E N I T Crafts. Look up. See, I wrote my nest off the note or I forget. Yeah, I can't fit. What do you do if you can't get them to work? I mean, I say it like that. Oh, that hurts. I can't do that. And yeah, look at that. Full of ink and I can't get it to work. I don't know what to do. I'm so mad. Yeah, there's nothing on the tip. Mm -hmm. I got two of them. Yeah, look. Irritates me. I paid good money for these. You know, lighter on the end. Okay, let's see. If I still got a lighter in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I do. Oh. Nothing. <laughs> Just quickly. Well, I was going to email them. Yeah. And they're both like, I got two of them. I bought two black, I want to say, and two purple. Oh, two purple. Jesus, I can't talk. I'm too white. Yep. I just lost the lid in here somewhere. And I can't, even this one don't work. Yep. Here's the other one. They were junk from the bottom. I have no idea, but the white ones don't work. The black? See, this is a black one. Doesn't either. I've never had that happen in pens before. Yep. Ew.
can hear the rain outside. Drip, drip, drip. Drip, drip, drip. So I got this big space. I think I'm going to make it two spaces, which you can do. I'm going to add lines up this way. It's a downfall of using the paint markers to do this because you can see the edge of the paint going to the line, you know. Looks cool. One little line there. Perfect. Cool. <clears throat> There is a YouTube called Zetangle. Cool. It's relaxing. I have to give them that. Doodling. And. I mean, I've been doodling since I was a kid. I didn't know it had a name. It's like mixed media. I've been doing that for, since I was a kid. And, uh, I just think it's funny how they put titles and stuff. That us Gen X kids have been doing it for years. <laughs> I mean, I used to have tablets full. Sitting in a class, you know, listening to the teacher, and you'd do it out with your pen on your paper, and you'd sit there and just do, just do it like I'm doing now, except it's with your ink pen and your tablet mix, and you, you'd go through and you'd have an assignment page, and then it'd be that. My mom'd be like, "What were you doing?" I said he was boring. I had to keep myself awake. Yeah. Yep. It's just now they got a name for it. I did a lot of lines and dots, you know, nothing like this or worse. Where is it? Oh, this is where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh. Nothing like these that I did. See, I don't like that. See, to me, that don't look right. I don't know why. I did pretty damn good on that one. You can tell the black circles are where I messed up. And I was trying them in colored. I don't know why I skipped this page. No idea. But I did find this thing. I was looking for this. Oh, I thought it would be bigger, but it helps not go through the paper. So 
So I figured after I'm done doodling, I'm going to come and turn the book around. Okay. And I'm going to do mixed media on the back side of the pages. And then when you flip the mixed media and doodling. Go look out Sabrina. Sabrina's underscore crafty underscore journeys. She did a video of hers, and that's I have to give Sabrina the credit. She watched that Willow Art that I was talking about. She told me about that lady. And because we both were in Kathy's auction, I shared this earlier before you were in Dan. Um, and Kathy had this book, and I got this one, and then Sprita beat me to this one. So I had Sprita send me a picture of it after she got it because I wanted to know the name of it. And I got it off Amazon for $9. So me and Sprita have been going back and forth talking about these different things in here. I mean, some of these look at days crazy. I was like, whoa. Because I was like, oh, Mandela's. And then somewhere. And we've been going through buying different pens. We bought King Art ones to do it. Uh, where is it? Yeah, then this is entangled. We've been kind of talking and trying to figure out different ones that these people do when they and the right pens and pencils because I bought let's see, I have rollerball now. I got a Sarasa and I got the rollerball pen. I've done Sharpie. I did on Thomas's and the King Arts. I bought them. They're my favorite. But man, did I go through the ink on the King Art ones. But yeah. I forgot the ones that Sabrina's are using. I keep forgetting to ask her in a second. Thank you. And then I'm trying to learn it. I mean, this is me practicing upstairs. This was me upstairs because one of my pages fell out of this. So I figured, why? I might as well use it. And then I tell you one thing I don't like. I don't see. I. I, I Oh, oh, oh. Was it this one? No. What's that? Or did it Alec Riley take it? Well, this was me putzing. <laughs> I was just doing it in this one for the hell of it. I said I should put I should have put this in my purse today with a pen. Because I, I tell you, it was went in there at noon. I didn't get out till 2 o'clock. It was like 20, 30 minutes between... The, First, I get took 20 minutes to register. Then they're like, you should have called this about your new insurance. And I go, I did. She goes, excuse me? I said, I did call this clinic. I called right away. I said, I don't know why the lady didn't put it in the system. I said, first of all, she said she could take care of it when I came in. I said, but my regular clinic has all my new insurance. So doesn't it fall to the same from my clinic to the same hospital by the same name? I don't know. But so she spent 20 minutes figuring out my insurance. I'm like, well, you know what? Next time, blame your own receptionist. I said, I could have had my husband stop and got all this done. Scott was there. Like Scott goes, he never thought. He didn't know. Because he had to be at that same hospital last week. He had to sit there and wait for a patient for an hour. He could have went upstairs and redid this. But so that took 20 minutes. And then it took another 20 minutes to wait for the nurse to come in. Then it took another 20 minutes for the nurse, for his nurse to come in or his whatever doc, nurse, doctor, whatever she is. And then another 30 minutes for him to come in. I said to Scott, I should ask for a piece of printer paper, man. I could be doodling. I said, <laughs> I, said I said to Scott, I am carrying my backpack from now on. I'm going to put a pad of paper in there and a pen because I was bored. But some of these, I like how they show it, and that's what I said. But this, this is a good book. And then this is the one with the lettering. 
I was like, oh my god, where's the one I thought is the freakiest one of all? Um, I think it was. I was like, whoa, in the hell, I said. But, uh, crazy. The only thing is, is, on this one, they really don't show you how to do them. I was not, I was like, what? I was, I expected more, I guess. I mean, like this. Shading. Try these tangles. And then it goes in the pictures. Mm, practice shading. And then it goes to these. I was like, what? But this one's pretty good. This one I've kind of been doing, trying. But you know what? That takes practice. It's only fun. But Sabrina's on the ball. She's good. I think it's because, and I told I think I mentioned this to Sabrina. I think it's because I'm a delusionist. It's like I'm a delusionist. You go look at Diane's and then you come back, you'll see. I do a lot of what Diane does. You know? I think that's some of my problem. But you know what? It's all in fun. And everybody needs an outlet. I don't care what type of outlet it is. And right now, Spring is doing an awesome job. I wouldn't show anybody. I almost showed twice when I was doing my art journal. Because I grabbed my art journal the first night she showed me the video. It was in my art journal. And then I made this little journal. Which I go up and up. this goes upstairs with me. Because I said I'm not starting another art journal. Or any type of journal. And what do I do? I start one in this one instead of do, crap going upstairs for my little one. Oh, well. It's my room. These I'm trying to... I want to get all this done this year. This is my goal because I started these back in 2021. A lot of these are stencils. And I just did. And I want to finish this off. This is my black and white one. And this is my colored one. I want to get these all completed, totally done at the end of this year. Some is paint, some it's gel pants. So. so. You learn as you go. And I think I'm too fast. You know what I mean? I can't slow down to do it. It's okay.
Sabrina is Sabrina underscore crafty journey. It's a really good friend of mine. Great crafter. And she, I mean, her stuff she's doing, and she just started, I think we both, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, maybe. She's just awesome. She did awesome. And I wouldn't share it. She's like, go ahead. I'm like, no, 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 no. You need to get, you showed me this. You need to put this out on your channel because it's, it's awesome. And then, then it's not going to be my thing right now. I'm just doing something because I don't want to, I got my good sweat. I didn't want to paint. <laughs> so, and when she showed me them off and on since she started, I was like, OMG. I'm like, Sabrina, you got to show everybody. She did phenomenal. She's took it to the next level, too. But, you know, I, I'm... How did Scott say that to me? Okay, I don't have depth, depth perception really good because of my eyes. And he says that's probably half the why I don't think this looks like it's supposed to. Or what's the other? Oh, this one. I'll do it here. We just you put a line down the middle, and then you just go across. Because I showed him what I did, and I'm like, I don't know. And Scott goes, I see it. I can't see it where it looks like it's indented. I guess. I can't find her child. Okay, hang on. I'll get her. I'll get her. I'll get her. Get her. Hang on. I will get her. Oh. Oh, let me see if I can find one. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I think it's this one. Yeah. All right. All right. Grab me this. And paste. Boom. There we go. It should be good. should bring you right up to her video that she did. But, oh, I thought she did. I think she did great. Okay, what is it doing? I forgot what I was doing. I lost my spot. I turned my book for a reason. Uh, oh, right here. That's where I am. Okay. I'm like, where was I? Okay. But you're supposed to be able to go real lightly. It doesn't help that I'm doing this with my paint pen either. And it's supposed to make like it looks in or right. I don't know what you call it, but I don't see it. Yeah, look, 3D. Yeah. I don't see it. And that's probably half my problem. I tell Scott that I'll let him. I don't see it. But I don't see death either. Death for perception because of my eyesight. Almost gave myself a black eye last week. Last week, <laughs> I walked right into the door. Never realized it was open. I was so used to the door being closed. Wham! Oh, I was just like, I'm surprised I didn't give my myself a broken nose or a black eye. Cause man, I hit that hard. But I think I turned. 
Scott was upstairs coming running down. He said I fell. Yep, I left. It's like, baby, you got to quit. Quit hurting yourself. People are going to think I'm doing it, he says. <laughs> he goes, you got to stop. And then, oh. I mean, I went in for physical this past November with a bruised nose and, and a little bit of rack, 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 ugh. I call them rack, raccoon eyes because I fell down three plates of stairs. It smacked the end of my couch and with a lamp and, and broke my nose, <laughs> which I didn't think was broken because it didn't bleed as much. We were surprised, but it was broke. A light fracture, you could feel it. So I got this little lump on my nose now. My doctor said, he goes, well, how did you manage that? I said, do you want the truth or should I fib? And he goes, truth. I said, I had a little too much wine with my daughter and granddaughter. And I went upstairs, came back downstairs, and fell down the last three pairs, three flights of the stairs, three steps. Hit the end of my couch in the chair in a lamp. And he goes, well, let me take a look. And that's when he, know, he felt it. And then he looked up and he goes, yeah, you have a slight fracture. And then he says to me, next time stay on the first floor. <laughs> Oh my god. Maybe you shouldn't be drinking wine with your daughter and granddaughter. <laughs> Can't keep up with the young anymore, Tina. You're not young, he says to me. And then what do I do? A month later, I fall down the same three stairs three stairs with a clothes basket. But I come to realize, and Scott realized that he is having an eyesight problem, you adapt. Okay. And the big thing for me is, and for some reason, I don't know what the hell in my mind is, is the railing going upstairs ends three. And when you come down, it stops three, I have three more steps after the railing. And for some reason, my mind thinks I'm at the end of the steps. So now Scott's got a temporary thing up there for me because I hang on the railing when, go, when I go up and down the steps. And because uh, I don't fall down any other damn steps except this step, these upstairs steps. So, <laughs> um, that I figured that. I said, Scott, I know what it is. And he goes, what? I said, I'm, I feel because of my eyes. I've always hold things uh, and he goes and i said the railing ends and my mind just doesn't realize there's three more steps to go <laughs> so we uh so we're gonna put a different railing up after we paint he's gonna it's gonna be industrial looking like steampunk because i got like uh industrial curtain rods they look like pipes it's pretty cool looking so he found a railing that looks like that too. So it's so cool looking. And after we paint, he's going to do that. And then with my Van Gogh pictures going up, it's going to look so cool. I can't wait to show the hallway. I'm so excited. <sighs> Because I said, Scott, you, Scott knows as soon as I get to the okay from the doctors that these the hands are good to go. I'm going to be washing that hallway and I'll be painting my hallway going upstairs. And then upstairs, I already tore down some paper, some wallpaper. Scott, Scott knows it too. I want to hang up my Van Gogh stuff. I don't have it in the bathroom anymore because I don't have a big enough bathroom. So it's going in the hallway upstairs. It's going up the stairwell on both sides. It's going to look so cool. Boom. Oh, I got this one. Oh, let's do 
Oh. It's nothing special, but it's done. I can't find the lid in my marker. Oh, there it is. Alrighty, it's been, I've been on here three hours. I wanna, I'm going to eat anything because I didn't sleep good last night. So then I got home and slept. Well, they gave me, a, I couldn't relax this hand today. You could tell I was nervous. So they gave me a light um, muscle relaxer and knocked my ass out cold once I got home. Of course, Scott was supposed to wake me up at 3 o'clock and he didn't. So I woke up at 6.30. And I have the kids at 11 tomorrow. But they're pretty good. I have great grandkids because they know my sleeping's off. I, told them, I already told them. And they won't be here for till 11. So I figured I'd try to go to sleep about 2. And then get up when Diamond gets here. Because Diamond knows the user key. Just in case I'm sleeping. But we're going to... I don't know what we're going to do. We're having a nice little bit of... Um, forgot kids we were going to do. I remember. Oh, Riley mentioned it. And I said, yeah, we could probably do that. I have to find a little bit piece. Bigger piece of plastic. A little wider would have been cool. But, um. I don't know. I know Shauna painted rocks. And, and. I just want to paint more rocks. I said you probably could do that. Just finished coloring a picture she started. But last night I slept all day. You took one last night and slept all day. Yeah, whatever they get. I couldn't relax. So they that was half the problem today. They, because they wanted me to relax this hand and I couldn't relax. It's like I kept I kept on being really stiff. So they gave me a muscle relaxer. Oh my god. And I was tired to begin with. Because I didn't sleep the night before. I finally dozed off about probably 10 o'clock. Scott woke me up at 5 after 11. He's like, baby. He startled the hell out of me. That I'd catch my breath. He felt so bad. Um, He's like, you gotta get up. And I'm like, why? And he goes, you gotta go to the doctor. I'm like, oh. So I dragged my ass out of bed to go to the doctor. And I said, Scott, I needed soda. So we, as we got in the, the doctor's office, we went and grabbed her to the hospital. We went to the cafeteria to grab me a Pepsi. I was so thirsty. And I'm so tired. And then they, I couldn't relax my hand. So they gave me a muscle relaxer. Well, that kicked in. Oh, God, that kicked in quick. So the whole appointment, I'm like, Doing that head bobbing. I'm, I remember waking up in the car. I said to Scott, I thought he was hitting a car in front of us. Because I do I must have dozed off and woke up and we were at a stoplight. Because I thought we were hitting. <laughs> he's like, he told me he's going to blindfold me on our way home after my surgery. Because I do that to him all the time. I freak him out. So, <laughs> he's just going to blindfold me. But then we got home and I wanted popcorn. I was hungry. So I'm like, will you make me popcorn? I couldn't even hold my eye, my eyes up. So. <laughs> he came upstairs and I was watching Full House. And he gave me my popcorn and soda. And then he had to go bye-bye. He had to go to work. <laughs> He's like, don't move from this bed. I said, what if I have to go potty? <laughs> he told me. He says to me. <laughs> he goes. He brought our emergency bucket. <laughs> from dad, when dad was here, you know, we had this, they gave us a bucket for dad if he got sick. I mean, it, it was, it, it was big. It's cool. It's got a nice lid on it. I don't know why it's upstairs. So he grabbed the bucket and he told me, that to be here. Because he didn't want me falling. Because I was loopy as hell. I was like, woo! <laughs> but, he told his boss, at least he told me he had to go to work, but I thought he was leaving right away. It was like 30 minutes later he left. He said, I was out cold when he left. 
And then when he came back 45 minutes to an hour later, he said I was snoring. <laughs> it slowly let me sleep. But I'm like, where did you not hear me? Wake me up at 3.30. So I wouldn't be up all night. I wish it. <laughs> so he tells he told me he's going to blindfold me after the surgery because... I was thinking we we're going to hit the car in front of us. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay. All right. So I'm going to call it a day, night, day, whatever you want to call it. Thanks for coming in. I hope you guys have a nice rest of the evening or morning because it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning for me. And I will talk to you later. And thanks, guys. Have a good. Oh, tomorrow's Tuesday. Oh, man. I'm not sure about Tina Tuesday because I have the kids. So, um, I forgot tomorrow's Tuesday. I didn't pre-do a video either. Um, so there might, might not be a Tina Tuesday. I couldn't get live on YouTube tonight anyways. So I used string yard. But maybe I'll do a Tina Tuesday with one and do something with the kids. We'll see. Alrighty. Because I want to teach them this. And I like how this lady, whoever this Lindy Berry, yeah. how she kind of did this. Isn't this so cool? Yeah. I got this in a prize from Kathy. Yeah. And I'm like, I want to go through this and kind of learn this yes. little technique, how she does this and teach the kids. So cool. what it is the journals journalist thing which given things form you do you wish you could write do you wish you could write so i think it's so cool <coughs> yeah. So, alrighty, guys. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody.